we had last left the Vault Dweller. They had finally returned to Vault 13 with the new water chip in tow, and everyone was quite pleased with the results. New fresh water, purified water, flowed freely through Vault 13's doors and pipes. Now, however, the Overseer had yet another task for the intrepid Vault Dweller. Yes, it was time to investigate the recent appearances of many, many more super mutants in the area. It was time to investigate the source, and perhaps their leader. And so the Vault Dweller made off back into the desert wastes of Southern California, where they would hopefully find such information. But before doing that, they had to manage their inventory, and they found a giant cache of money. It was great. <laughs> this is Fallout. Welcome back. All right. So, in between videos, I got our points up a bit. I put a few points into small guns to get us up from 111 to 115, because it's just a nicer number, you know? Uh, also... I put a whole bunch into energy weapons and got up that up to 35. And I figured, hey, why not put enough into steel to get us to a nice round 100, right? Big fan of these clean looking numbers and all that, right? There's just something about it. Anyway, we've got all that situated. We're good to go there. Also, as far as our inventory situation, I went and managed a whole bunch of stuff. I brought in a whole bunch of our other equipment. Our total weight is still only 97, so not too bad. But we've got our tools back, all of that. We've got a stealth boy on us in case we need it. Army is wondering, should we get a motion sensor? You know what, maybe we should, because we just so have one here. I don't know really what it's for, but we've got it. And I've banked, of course, all of our energy weapons for whether or not we ever want to make use of them. I sold off all of our throwables, all of our explosives, the dynamite, the molotovs, the fragmentation grenades, because I just figured, what am I doing with them, you know? Am I ever actually going to use them, or am I at a point now to where I'm so good at critting, you know, and I'm doing so much damage with a lucky crit that it's just worth it for me to not even use them, right? Because there's a chance that I may just get a lucky crit in the eyes against some creature with an aimed shot, and it'll do, like, 50-plus damage, you know? I don't know. I feel like, where are the chances that a grenade is going to outshine that? Whereas, I could sell the grenade and get extra money, right? Which we can use here or later, I presume later, in order to get character upgrades, which we have done here. I have two books of Dean's electron Electronics, or hang on. Let's see. Let's investigate what's our repair at. 44. I figured we would balance it out because we had bought quite a few science books. We're at 51 science repair. We're going to send that up. Let's see here. Inventory. And let's get these going. There we are. We were at 44. And now we are at... Let's see here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. We're at... 54. Huh. A nice 10-point increase by reading two books. And Dean's electronics are actually fairly cheap, as it turns out. Also, I I was looking up information on, like, buying and selling shit and all of that, and I came to find out that you can actually exploit the game in a way by incurring withdrawal effects via drugs, which will debuff your special, which will track your... Um, it, 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 of course, as we saw with small guns, it changes your skill level, right? And there is a formula involved with how much, how many skill points you get per book reading, right? It's like, I forgot, I, I looked it up specifically. It's like you get a flat 100 and then it subtracts your current level and then it divides that by like two or something and that's how many points you get as a bonus, a permanent bonus from reading a skill book. So, what you would do is you would debuff your special massively as best as you can, and you would use that to get a really low current skill, which it would use in the formula, so you would get, like, an extra point or two from reading, right? But we don't really need that, right? We got eight int, 
we're like swimming in skill points right now. We're doing pretty good. We're doing so well that I almost even considered just buying a sniper rifle or some of that hefty combat armor and all of that. But I thought, uh, maybe we'll hold off. You know, maybe we'll hold off. Because I don't know how much these other... I'm almost positive you can get like... I don't know if it's surgery in this game or not. But very similar to how it worked in New Vegas. I'm like 90% sure that it exists in this game. That you can get permanent stat upgrades somewhere. Probably like when you meet the Brotherhood of Steel. Because I don't think the followers of the Apocalypse exist yet as a faction. Maybe they do. But I don't think so. I think they're post the events of Fallout 1, aren't they? Regardless, I don't know how much any of that will cost. So we're just like holding on to money for the time being. Anyway, we also pulled out all of our stim packs and whatnot. So let us go around and I think we clear out some of these quests that we've got in this area, right? Because we do happen to have a few. Oh shit. Let's see, status. Let's see here, hub. Steel necklace from the merchants, right. Should we check back in with Harold? Do you think Harold might have more to say? Because we do know, like me as a player, I know beyond this that Harold is directly linked to what we're looking for, but also within the game, within the confines of the game, ignoring all of that. I know that, um, that Harold is also linked to it because of well, do, do I actually know that? They mentioned... Harold mentioned... The Doctor, Grey, right? And we found in an alternate life when we had gotten captured. We found the, the logs and stuff, right? I don't remember if... Yeah, we found the, the logs of Grey, right? Yeah. Though we don't have them right now, right? Of course we don't have them right now. Let's go over here. Let's just chat up Harold. See if there's anything oh, new. Oh, hey, it's you again. Let's see. Tell me about... How do you spell gray? Is it with an A or an E? Brilliant guy. Ah. A doctor and philosopher. Long ago, he led the expedition where I got changed into a mutant. Cool. Okay. Or <laughs> horrible, <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm sorry. My condolences. Okay. Well, hi. Anything I can do for you? No, nothing. All right. Let's see. I feel kind of bad not giving him the 20, but I literally have no idea how much shit is going to cost because as we've seen over here at this store... Oh, shit. Did I just get into combat? What was that? Oh, my God. I am in combat. Oh, shit. These motherfuckers are coming out to blast me. Oh, dear God. I'm getting blasted. Who is this? A seedy looking person. Oh, fuck. Jesus, I'm toast, aren't I? Am I toast? I might be fucking dead. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the eyes. We got two shots. Why not? Hell yes. Oh, God. That dude's got a good gun. Oh, it's too good. Okay. <laughs> the darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even go into their building. In that world. Okay, fine. What a wretched asshole. Let's see, did I quick save over here? Let's see, What? what's the time on these? Shit, I don't know. Let's see, I guess we can tell by whether or not... Oh yeah, the time hasn't passed, so we still have this shit in our inventory. Okay, yeah. Oh, also, I put this weapon on us because I wasn't sure, like... Although we don't fully meet the requirement for it, because we now have such hefty small guns, at the very least, when we're point blank, we may be able to overshoot the penalty from not meeting the strength bonus, you know? we might it, it might be good enough if we're, like, super duper close. So, hey, worth trying out, I think. Let's see. Let's reload that. Because I may want to fire that off against them. We'll see. Because I do actually want to go back there and rumble with them. I think we can take them if we go after the person with the heavy-duty weapon. Okay. Let's see here. Inventory. And let's read these again. And it should be daytime when we come back, yeah. There we go. Good. It's the same amount, right? 
Yeah, repairs back to 54. Yeah, it's not random. It's not random. There is like a legit formula. Okay, here we go. Good, good, good. It only feels random because of the way the formula incorporates your current skill level, you know. Okay, let's do a quick save again. And let's see if we can do this from here. So do we, like, draw their ire right now? Who are these folks? Combat shotgun. Oh, there's a child in there. Okay, a 10mm SMG. And this other person in the back, I think, is just... Is this a person right here? You see a battered man. Oh, fuck. Someone's in trouble in there. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Ride my bullet, son. Oh, shit. Okay. Can I blast from in here? Oh, shit. There are actually a bunch of dudes inside. Oh, that's a child. Okay. Over here. 95. I can take a pot shot and run around the building. Let's see. Eh, 65, 45. If I swap weapons. What are my odds look like here? 95, 85. Okay, I think I prefer that for the time being. If they get on top of us, we'll run with the penalty weapon. Hell yes. Okay. Can I run over this way? Fuck it. I think that's around the corner. I'm gonna dance on your grave. Oh shit, the shotgun lord. Okay. Well, this is the perfect opportunity to test it out. Point blank, pretty much. Okay, so who is who here? 90 HP. Got a shotgun. How about this asshole? A 10 millimeter, okay. Let's see. Oh shit, it's still only 60 or 67. I could shoot him in the groin and knock him flat. Ooh, I should shoot him in the groin. Yeah! Ooh! I gotta learn that move. <laughs> Rough guard was critically hit in the groin for 52 HP. The pain is too much for him and he collapses like a rag. Okay, how about this dude? A seedy looking person wielding spiked knuckles. Okay. Let's get this other person in the groin. Did I miss? No, okay, I didn't. Jeez, the spiked knuckles actually hurt a shit ton. Okay. Let's see. Let us fire into this dude again. Should I go for the head or should I try and get a lucky crit? Let's see. Jeez, it's like impossible to pixel hunt for him here. Huh. Did I not hit him that time? Who did I shoot? Oh, oops. Rough guard was hit instead of rough guard. Ah, uh, I hit a different rough guard. Okay. Huh. Well, let's go for the groin again. Oh, shit. No. No good. Okay. <laughs> Amazing how much... How much punishment this man's groin can withstand. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I do think we should use some stims. Wonderful. We can go up to 61 now, I believe. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then should I run or should I stay here and just face him? I think I'm just going to stay here. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus. Motherfucker crit me. Okay. Good. That dude is still on the fucking ground, though. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. How much health is on this guy with the gun? Surely you're almost dead. Fuck me, you're not. Okay. I'm going for the eyes. I'm going for the fucking eyes. Boom. Should have done it. Look at that. Crit him for 56 HP. The loss of an eye is too much and he falls to the ground. Okay. And this asshole. This dude actually has a lot of health. I don't think I could, even if I got lucky, I don't think I can one-shot him. So I'm gonna go for the groin again. Come on, 
get debilitated. Jeez, I crit him in the groin. Jesus, is he gonna fucking take me out here? Okay. I'm going for the groin again, I guess. Or how much health is left? I hit him for 28. Dude's gotta have like 40 something, right? Yeah, 42. I could go for the eyes or I could go for the groin. I'm going for the groin, baby. Yes, man. Okay. It's too much for him. But let's play it safe in case this other asshole runs out and starts blasting. Let's just play it safe. We're going to scarf down some healing. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Good. And then... Let's end turn. Oh, shit. He got back up. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's using Stimpak. Oh, shit, he's flooring me. Oh, fuck. No! God! <laughs> wow, what an asshole. How many AP does this dude have? Shit. <laughs> we were doing so well. All right, all right, all right. Again, again. Who are these fucking seedy-looking motherfuckers? Who are they? Eat this! Step right up, stranger! Okay. How about you eat... this? I'm going for... Should I go for the leg? Oh, now there's an idea. Can I hit the other dude now? No, I still can't. Okay. I'm going for the groin. Well, I could go for the leg. How much would that slow him if I, like debilitated his leg. How much slow does that incur? I'm going for the groin. Boom! Groin shot! 38 in the groin. Hell yes. That's the lucky 38, baby. Alright. So who is this person? Is this the Spike Knuckles Lord? No. That is someone else. Okay. I'm a little dubious of just chilling here. Because this guy is going to roll up on me. But I can definitely shoot this asshole. In the groin as well. I'm going for the groin. Is he on the ground? He is. <gasps> oh! Oh god, the double shotgun blast! Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to swap weapon. Okay. Let's see. Should I go for the groin, try and insta-stun him? I could try and shoot the arm. I'm going for the groin. Oop! <laughs> he says... <laughs> okay, it shot him in the groin and traveled all the way up through his body into his mouth. And he just, like, burped it out. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, use some of this here. Good. Now, we need to be careful, because this dude is, like, serious fucking business. Okay, all the way up to 61. Good. Oof. How many shots you got in that thing? Okay. You missed. I'll take it. Let's go for... Should we go for the groin again? We could go for the head. I think we go two shots on the head. 88? That's good enough. Hell yes, 48. Okay, and he's unconscious. Okay. How much health you got left? CD looking person. 29 HP. Okay, I'm gonna blast again. Going for the eyes. That should be the- Yes, man! Okay, who is this? This is old Spike Knuckles McGillicuddy, right? Yes, okay. I'm just gonna blast this asshole. I'm gonna blast him right in the noggin. Boom. 60, fuck, yes. Okay. And another one. Boom! Gotcha! Okay. Oh, shit! Old SMG McGee is back. Okay, I'm gonna flank around this direction. I'm gonna do a sneaky flank. And I'm gonna heal up over here. We're gonna play it safe, because we've taken out one of the two big threats. Okay. Or actually, we've taken out the biggest threat of all. Okay, good. We're just playing it safe. We've got plenty of stim packs, and I'm sure we'll get plenty more. Okay. Let's reload our weapon. 
Good. And you know what? We can reload the other one too while we're at it. Here, let's also turn around. Oh, we still have control of our character. I don't know if this counts against ranged attacks or not, but it definitely does seem to do it for melee, you know? Okay. Good. Oh, look, he's slow as shit. Okay. Great. So now, I'm gonna roll up in here. Good. Do I just want to, like, get as close as possible? Yeah, because we can fire off another powerful shot from our... Yeah, from our penalty weapon. Okay. Good. And then... What are my odds? I got 84 in the eyes. Do I want to take that, or do, do I want something that's, like, practically guaranteed? I'll take it. I'll take it. 84 in the eyes, because we only have one threat up right now, and even if the other dude stands up, we got 61 HP of room for maneuvering. Oh, yes. Obliterated. Critically hit in the eyes for 58 HP, and with no protection there, causing serious pain. Okay. Wait, are we actually not in combat anymore? Oh, is this person dead? Oh, we actually killed this person. Oh, my bad. Okay. So are we non-combat then? Yeah, we did it. Oh, excellent. Okay. Now, I don't want to quick save just yet in case it, it like, turns out that these were, like, I don't know, nice people or something. I don't know. <laughs> just in case we don't really know who these people were. They attacked us first. Fuck them. Okay. Let's see. I definitely want the equipment from them, though. There we go. Good. Done. Okay, the combat shotgun. What's the requirement on this? Five strength again. Okay. Huh. Oh, look, it gives us a lot of information. A Winchester City Killer. Jesus Christ. 12-gauge combat shotgun. Bullpup variant. In excellent condition, it has the optional Desert Warfare Environmental Sealant modification for extra reliability. Oh. Huh. Man, five stims. Almost got all of our stims back that we used in combat there. Man, that is some heavy-duty ordnance. How much damage does that even deal? We can tell by inspecting it in our inventory, right? No, we can't. If I equip it, though... There we go. Oh, it's only 15 to 25. Oh, that's not that great. Our Pistolero does more. And what's the AP requirement? Okay, it's comparable. Oh, it has a burst fire, though. Oh, okay. Ha. Huh. Now that's something. Okay, but still, we also don't meet the requirement, and I'm sure burst comes with its own detriment, you know? So I'm not too sure about it. Okay, and I, I'm pretty sure I looked up how it's calculated, how crits are calculated with burst fire weapons, and I'm pretty sure it only calculates the first shot, if that's a crit or not. So, like, each individual pellet or whatever, or shot during a burst fire is only... It's, you only get one chance at a crit. Like, so if you do a three-round burst, you're not getting three potential crits, it's just one potential crit. Okay. Let us equip this. Good. And there was another dude with spiked... Yeah, there we go. How much do these do? Minimum strength of one. An improved version of the classic brass knuckles. The spiked knuckles do more damage, tearing into the flesh of your opponent in unarmed combat. Okay. And a knife. A serrated combat knife, though. Is that like a different one from the usual knives? I can't remember if we've always seen them serrated. A high-quality combat knife. This Stalona is from Sharpwit, Incorporated. The edge of this blade is guaranteed sharp for over a decade of use. Okay. How about this poor fucking soul back here? Oh, also... Let's take this shit. There we go. Good. Okay, I've been here. Oh shit, it's locked. Okay. 
Well, let's try and pick into it then. All right, let's pick again. It's two. Holy shit. <laughs> Where was the pixel? Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Good. Holy shit, it's like really difficult to open this fucking door. <laughs> okay, okay, we're falling back. Now we're popping the door. Okay. You see a battered man. Are you okay? Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks, perhaps months, those thugs have had me here. I'm very grateful for your help. And I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. You're with the Brotherhood? Oh, is that where they got the combat shotgun from? Well, I'm glad that I could help. Are you going to be okay? You're welcome. Bye. Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'm, I'll be fine now. Thanks. I have some friends here that I can stay with while I regain my strength. I'll try to send word to the Brotherhood to let them know that I'm safe now thanks to you. Hang on, can I barter with you? Oh, I can. Oh, you have nothing. Okay. Huh. You're somehow affiliated with the Brotherhood of fucking Steel? I'm leaving soon, just gathering my strength. What about this kid? Oh, was that just the fun-loving child that ran around town? The kid just so happened to run inside of this building? And get caught inside? I guess so, okay. Well, let's see. Boxes. So it was a good thing we did this. Let's do a quick save over our old one. Okay, over here, what have we got? Nothing. Okay, let's stow our weapon. Good. I do think we should also roll over here and pawn off some of this junk that we've accumulated. I'm not sure about selling the combat shotgun. It definitely feels like we should, but I don't know. Okay, let's see, barter. How much extra shit have you got as far as money is concerned? Do you have much? Otherwise, I can take some ammo. Oh, yeah, you got 2.6 grand. Okay. Let's see. Let's get rid of the 10 millimeter. Good. The knuckles. Didn't we have another 10 millimeter? Did I already skip over it? No. Okay. Oh, we must have not been able to pick it up or something like that. Okay. There we go. Get rid of that. Cool. Okay, and the ammo we can hold on to for now. So let's do all that. Great. And then we want 503. Cool. Okay. Offer. Thank you. Okay. Just looking around. Okay. And then let's backtrack over here and let's take the last bit of equipment or whatever. Let's see. Did we get any XP for, for helping that dude? I don't think so. Oh, shit, spot. This, oh, look, we can actually cycle between the characters here. Okay, it must have been this body? Yeah, okay, good. Lovely. All right, let's head on back out. Like I said, I'm just not sure if I want to sell off the combat shotgun just yet. Because the burst fire on it does seem useful. I don't know. Okay, barter. The only issue with the burst... Yeah, you can't, you can't target fire with bu burst fire, can you? So you miss out on the bonus crit chance. So I don't, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe not for our build. Like if we were just a straight up damage build. Yeah, in fact, we have a debuff. One of our starting perks or whatever it is. Debuffs our, our chance to, or our base damage, doesn't it? So burst is actually like pretty bad for us. It's like other characters, it's way more suited for them. 
Okay. Oh, look. Hey, you got your money back. Oh, shit. You, like, regen money. Holy shit. Who would have thought? Okay. Well, let's take a stim pack, I guess. Why not? Go all the way up here. How many... How much are these things worth to you? Huh. Okay. Should I just take all of them? There we go. Okay. There it is. And then... Sorry, I had to give them all back because it's, it's easier for me to math it out this way. Okay, so we need... Let's see. We need... 780, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Offer. Thanks. Okay. Oh, and we could even sell this off, too. My bad. Okay. All. And then we need... 91. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. We could even... We could even do this. Get rid of the shells. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. All right. All right. That's, that's too much. Hmm. Do you have anything else I could buy from you? Hmm. I don't think you do, do you? No, not really. I mean, I could buy grenades, but I just sold them off. You know? <laughs> I feel like it's not really necessary. Okay. Sure, I'll take back a... A bushel of shells. There we are. And then let's return... Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> so, we need... Oh, shit. Like, a hundred... Fuck it, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just- I'm just gonna do this. Alright, I'm just gonna do it this way. Alright, take all these back. Good. Okay, I'm gonna take all these. Alright, great. So now then, I need... 766. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Great, thank you. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm, or sorry, I'm just looking around. Okay, cool. Wonderful. Alright, that was good. That went well. So this guy keeps getting money back. Hmm. That's good to know. Because we might have need of selling off stuff in bouts of... Uh, in fact, we do right now, don't we? Yeah, let's go talk to him again. If you're going to have two grand back in stock, let's see. Do you? Is it true? Do you really regen money? Oh, hell yes! We're in fucking oblivion now, aren't we? Okay. Let's get rid of this shit. We don't need any of this 10 millimeter shit, do we? And 16 shells. Good. 580? I'll take it. Boom. Wonderful. Okay. Great! Wow, lovely! Oh, so good! Okay. What a great shop! Okay. Cool, cool, cool. How much money do we have in total now? Nah, we haven't broke 30 grand yet. Okay. Good. Now, let's head on out over to... Hmm. Have we looked everywhere here? I think we have, haven't we? Yeah. We could get work or something, you know? We could get some kind of hoot nanny going on here. Hmm. Do I want to, though? I don't know. Let's see. We could head over this way. Well, no. Do we want to? I think we, we already pretty much did everything to do with them. Didn't we? I don't think we've checked out FLC. Let's check out guns. Maybe she has something to say, you know? Hey. Okay. I wish I could get a day off. It's been so lovely out. Still alive, I see. I was starting to worry. What can I get you today? Uh, can I ask you something? Of course you can. Don't be silly. 
Huh. Have you heard any good rumors? No, that's all. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? No, that's it. Well, come back soon. Don't be a stranger. Actually, what do you sell again? It's like cheaper early game guns, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Sure. Okay, good, good, good. Done. And then, let's head over here. Now there is this. Is it worth doing this? Is this just like a limitless supply of generated quests from the bulletin board? Or are these actually fixed ass quests that we you can only do once? It seems like they're limitless, but I have no idea. Let's see, what have we got? Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. One, caravan guards must be in good physical condition and dependable. Two, special position must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo trader's office. You know what? I The special position does sound pretty special. It doesn't sound like something that could repeat again. Let's see. Let's do a quick save. Rutger was, yeah, the dude with the armor. Hey. Hey there, buddy. How are things going? Fine, thanks. Do you have any more jobs? Of course. You don't need to talk to me. Just talk to our caravan driver. Okay. Hey, caravan driver. So, you signed up. Good to hear it. So, you know, we leave just about every 10 days. That's the 8th, 18th, and 28th of each month. Right now, we're making runs to the Brotherhood, Junk Town, and the L.A. Boneyard. What's the pay? You'll get 400 hub bucks. You might be saying, that ain't that much. But we go out often, and you ain't gonna lose... Oh, shit. <laughs> you ain't gonna lose your life that easy, but you get that pay going each way. Not that you have to go each way. But you'll get a total of 800 if you do. We take off on April 8th. You interested? Uh, let's see. How, what, what fucking day is it right now, dude? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> well, come by if you end up looking for something to do. That's the 8th. <laughs> the, eight, the 18th and 28th. Bye. Okay. <laughs> See ya, dude. Let's see. Oh, it's March 30th. Okay. So we should definitely check out Hightown before we head off with the Fargo traders. Right? Okay. Let's go on over here. I think we do still have more business in this, the Maltese Falcon. You know? We should probably investigate that. How about the Crimson Caravan? Because remember, we were in kind of a, a rush. Oh, what's in this ice chest? This isn't... This ain't what I think it is, is it? Hey, Demeter or Dimitri? Well, what are you waiting for? There are caravans to run. They're not ready to leave yet. I've still got some things to do first. Okay, bye. What? What about you, Crimson Caravan Guard? Oh, it's Carrie. Let's do a quick save. Did we ever talk to Carrie? I can't remember. So, that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must have balls of steel. <laughs> I'm impressed, but we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month, on the 3rd and the 17th. Can you handle that? We go to all the local hot spots, the Brotherhood of Steel, Junk Town, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. And the pay? Who pays the best? 600 scripts. And yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride. And you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders. 
Or worse, we'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave on April 3rd. Are you interested? Maybe. I think I'm interested in you. Right, yeah, we talked to you before. All right, sure. <laughs> I think I'm interested in you. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go over here. Let's do a... Quick save. Hey, if your charisma is high enough, do you just like like if you if you run in here with like maxed out speech and ten charisma, and you say that, Carrie, I think I'm interested in you. Do you all just like immediately start making steamy hot love on like a table? You know, you do the like cinematic thing. You just sweep all the shit off of the table. Everything goes clattering to the floor, and you all just start fucking like hardcore style on the table in the middle of the Crimson Caravan. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> if it's it's reactive to your stats and stuff, because we're low charisma, she's like, Oh, honey, no, you're fucking gross. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're a stinky man. <laughs> Let's see, over here. Kane, did you have anything new to say? No, we had our chance. Now it's time to beat it. Okay. What about you, bartender? What's your deal? Yeah, what do you want? No, nothing. Yeah, well, beat it. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> How about you? A drunk. Okay, fine, fine. Fair enough. All right, let's go check out Hightown, huh? It's high time we checked out Hightown. Wow, I should have saved that one for an opening. Fuck me. I'm I'm probably still going to try and use If I remember, I'm still going to use it anyway. I don't give a shit. <laughs> There's no sanctity here. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Over here. Let's do a quick save. Oh, shit. How the fuck do I get over there? Wait. How... <laughs> how do I get over there? Ah! <laughs> okay. What the hell? Did I have a quest for, like, the sheriff or some shit? I don't think I did. Let's see. Status hub... Steal the necklace. Yeah, okay. Man, good luck finding them, though. Where the hell do they even live? Where is this high town? Is it actually down here? Oh, shit. Maybe that's it. Oh, yeah, but this is it. Wow, weirdly enough, it's really far down. Oh, no, wait. Maybe this is it. Fuck, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna go this way, because according to the map, it looked like it was west of the, like, center area. Hey, this must be Hightown. Okay. Oh, who is this? You see Rick, a guard. What do you want? Excuse me, could I ask you a few questions? Your head on a stick? <laughs> Man, we're, we're in a role-playing game now, aren't we? <laughs> the two options of morality. Fuck me. <laughs> Right now, this is this is more like it. Like, oh, excuse me, sir. Could I ask you a few questions? Or I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> Just immediately upon <laughs> seeing this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Could I ask you a few questions? Actually, can we barter? The secret third option. Oh, he's got bullets. What if I buy all his bullets and then kill him? <laughs> What do you not be able to- he don't- well, he'd still have bullets in the magazine, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, could I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Man, what an intrusive thought. <laughs> Just immediately like, I want your fucking head on a stick, Rick! <laughs> Sorry. Make it quick. I'm not supposed to be talking on the job. Where am I? What's your job? Sorry to bother you. Bye. Where am I? You don't know. You probably shouldn't be here. This is the Heights. Mr. Hightower lives here, and he only sees people on appointment. What's your job? Can I set up an appointment with Mr. Hightower? What's your job? I'm here to make sure nobody messes with Mr. Hightower. Well, I'm actually interested in killing Mr. Hightower! <laughs> it's time to earn your pay! <laughs> Man, okay, I'm not actually interested in it, though. I just want to steal the necklace, right? 
Someone wants him dead. Obviously, this is an option. Maybe, uh, you know who? Uh, the fucking, what, what's their name? Old Keith David maybe wanted him dead. All right, where am I? Okay, can I set up an appointment? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. What the fuck? Who is this, another one of his guards? Yeah, one of Hightower's guards. So Hightower is his name. Okay, what's our pickpocket again? It's on three. Great. Let's make use of this one hundo steel. Hell yeah. Boom. Nailed it. Okay, how big is this map? It goes quite far down. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. There's two buildings here on this map. One of Hightower's guards. Okay. Sure. Hmm. How in the hell do I get in there, I wonder? Is this it? Or is this it? Huh. Okay. Well, let's do a quick save. Hey! You better leave. Darren Hightower doesn't take visitors. Okay. Well, I don't know which tower is the high tower for Darren Hightower. The house is off limits to the likes of you. Oh, shit. Okay, well, which house is it? There's two of them here. Okay, let's just figure out which one we're not allowed in. We've quick saved. Is this it? This just seems like a nice place. What is this place? Oh. Okay. I can just go in here. <laughs> okay. Sure. Who lives in this house? Is no one in here? Let's see. All the doors open. Okay. Any fun books? No? Not on that one. How about over this direction? Oh, this is a bathroom. Oh, I, th I thought it was a hallway that linked up. What was that? Oh, that's part of the chair. Okay. Over here. Wait, can I inspect the mirror? You look at yourself for a while. Okay. How about over here? Yo, if you look in the mirror with, like, one perception, is there unique information there? Like, <laughs> it's like, you look into the mysterious portal, and you see a horrifying visage staring at you! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay. Well. This must be it, then. <laughs> is this person named- Oh, this is George! Okay. Hey, George. Let's inspect you. You've got 10 millimeter. Oh, the door just... Oh, oh. Whoa. Hightower is haunted. <laughs> okay, hey, George. Can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Hightower. I have an appointment with Mr. Hightower, and I'm running very late. Let me in. Can we barter? We could, but you only have bullets. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have an appointment with Mr. Hightower. I'm running very late. Mr. Hightower doesn't see just anyone. Well, he wants to see me. How do I set up an appointment with him? I'm not just anyone, you idiot. Oh, well, goodbye. I'm not just anyone, you idiot. Okay, go on in. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, it's open already. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, who is this guy? <laughs> I didn't think there'd be more people inside. Okay. What is your business here? I must speak with Mr. Hightower. I've come to kill Mr. Hightower. What business is it of yours? Oh, shit. I should have saved. <laughs> what business is it of yours? I don't like your attitude. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'll leave when I'm good and ready, pal. Okay, I'll leave. Attitude? I'm- I'll show you attitude! Okay, I'll leave. Alright, I'm going back in. Oh, shit! Nobody gets through there without going through me first. Okay. I don't want any trouble here, so you better leave now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to speak to Mr. Hightower. 
Whatever it is you can tell me, Mr. H is busy right now. Why do you have to be so difficult? I would much rather tell him in person. It's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of life and death. You can tell me or you can leave. Who died and made you God? <laughs> we just get flustered. <laughs> we just get angry with them. We're like, fuck, this is so hard. I'm trying to get in here. <laughs> Look, I'm not telling you a damn thing. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Look, I'm not telling you a damn thing. I don't like your attitude. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Oh, he's going to fight me. Okay. This is my favorite job. <laughs> this is how he talks. He's like an Elcor. It's Leon. Oh, shit. <laughs> the professional, of course. Sheesh. All right. Let's go over here. There we are. Good. Hey. Okay. I have an appointment. I'm running very late. I'm not just anyone, you idiot. Let me in, George. Okay. I'm quick saving again. <laughs> All right, great. I wonder how you're supposed to do this stealthily. How do you sneak by these fucking people, huh? Let's see. How do we how do we open the door? Okay, there we go. Good. All right. What is your business here? I must speak with Mr. Hightower. Okay, but I'm watching you. He's in his office. Yeah, I bet you're watching me. Thank- th or I almost did his voice. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Oh, is this him? Oh, yeah. It is. Okay. Great. Now, who's this? Hightower's wife. Oh. Oh, hello. You must be one of my husband's associates. I am. Okay. I'm the very important one with the appointment. Is this his office? Sometimes I know Mr. Hightower likes to change around the entire layout of his house as if he lives in The Sims. <laughs> you see pot. A finely crafted pot. Okay. Sneak mode activate. Shit. Okay. We do have this stealth boy, of course. God, I hope this doesn't blow up. Okay. Sneak mode activate. Shit. Come on, surely you keep it in the... You keep the necklace inside the bathroom, at least. Right? You have, like, a jewelry chest or something? Okay, nothing over there. <laughs> Shit, we are going to have to go into his room. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just see if he says anything, right? We've got the stealth boy if we need it. We've got the stealth boy if we if we need it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> we have to convince him that we have a meeting with him. Who are you, and who let you in? <laughs> That's how he sounds. I have a message from a friend. My name is Lyle Schnub. Leon let me in. Or Leon let me in. However you say it. My name? Death! <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm here to barter with you, Mr. Hightower, for your necklace. Oh, you don't have one. Okay, talk. <laughs> Okay, I have a message from a friend. <laughs> I have no friends. What is your message? Uh, Bob sent me. Uh, he said you overpaid him a hundred caps and sent me to give it to you. There was no message, really. I was just trying to talk my way out of this. I love you. <laughs> I have to click on I love you. I have to click on this. Mr. Hightower, Darren Hightower. I love you. <laughs> Leon, show this fool to the door. Come back again and my gods will have your head. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Look, we had to do it. 
just just on the off chance it was like a secret luck check, right? What if what if what if there was a secret luck check and we had ten luck and I said Darren Hightower, I have to tell you I love you and then the ten luck clicks in. Boom, check activated, and Mr. Hightower stares directly into my eyes. And his heart flutters. And he says, I think I love you too. And then he has a heart attack and dies. <laughs> no, wait, we don't want him dead. <laughs> and then he gives us the necklace. <laughs> oh, look, the door just opened automatically. Okay, perfect. Let's see here. Let's activate the stealth boy. Good. How do we use it, really? This can only be used from the interface bar. Okay. Use. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. In we go. <laughs> oh, shit! He can see me! <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, hey, um... <laughs> I have a message. Uh, uh, my name is Lyle Schnub. Leon let me in. Let's... It's been a pleasure meeting you, Lyle Schnub. Now my assistant, Leon, will see you out of my home. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, the stealth boy did not work very fucking well at all. Oh, look. Hey, it just works. It, it isn't a consumable? What? Oh my god, this is incredibly powerful. Okay, well, how the fuck do we get in here? Hmm. Let's try one more option with speaking to him. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I have a message from a friend. Uh, a hundred caps from Bob. I don't know any Bob, but I'll take the 100 caps and you can leave. Go to hell! Okay, here you go. Thanks for your time. Uh, that bastard Bob didn't give me enough caps. I'll get them for you, Mr. Hightower. Honest, I will. <laughs> Let's try that. Leon, show this fool to the door. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's quickly <it> again. <laughs> All right. What if I camp out inside of Mr. Hightower's bedroom? Until night time. Will that work? Can I just chill in here until night? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Why can't I rest in here? <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. What about here? Huh? Shit. Okay. How about outside? Let's see. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Okay, so we need to come back at night, perhaps. When he's asleep or something. Well, then how would they let me in? Why would they let me in? Huh. Okay. Let's see here. Let's wait until midnight. <laughs> I can't believe we're trying this. <laughs> okay, let's go on over here. Let's see. Oh, what? Whoa. After sundown, nobody is allowed in this area. The other guards won't even give you a warning. If they catch you, they'll attack. You'd better get back downtown while your head is still attached to your neck. I'm not going anywhere. Are you going to shoot me? Shit, I thought he was... <laughs> I thought he was going to be cool. Okay, okay. Let's see. What if... Hmm. How the fuck do you get in there? How the fuck do you get in there? Do we need the stealth boy active right upon entering? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, what if I go in there and I, I scare the shit out of him? What if I scare him? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is, can I tell if this door is locked? Hmm. Let's see here. Stealth boy activate. Good. 
Sneak mode activate. Good. <laughs> Steal from... This. Shit. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, I'm your worst nightmare! Shit! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so not sneaky at all. I really need to speak to Mr. Hightower. Whatever it is, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Why would you have to be so difficult? Okay, I'll leave. Jesus. I don't think we're going to be able to do this quest. <laughs> I think maybe this quest is tuned specifically for uh, sneaky characters, and we, that is just not us. Okay, how about over here? Even with the stealth boy. Okay. My name is Death. <laughs> Guards and assassin. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's check the desk. Is it even in here? It's not. What the fuck? Where is- where even is the necklace? Mr. Hightower, I want the fucking necklace! Jesus, they're coming in for the kill. Ooh, he's so fast! He has five million AP! Okay, look. We just need to check if the necklace is- Oh, shit. I can't, I can't even check it. Okay, I'm going to shoot and kill Mr. Hightower. All right. What have you got? Fuck, I don't have enough AP. Okay. Please don't kill me. I just want to check his body. He doesn't even have it on him. <laughs> Where is this thing? All right. Okay, okay. That just means it must be in the other room, right? Let's see. Stealth mode activate. Shit. <laughs> okay, I have a message from a friend. Uh, let's see, I just want to talk my way- okay, okay. Fuck. We have to say that we're going to kill him. <laughs> That's the only way we can look around in the room. Alright. I forgot where they said that the fucking necklace is. All right. My name is Death. Okay, good. Let's get in here. Ah, this must be it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is locked. Shit, I can't pick it in combat. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's definitely it. Okay. All right, one more option. We we hit up the stealth boy, right? We hit up the stealth boy, and then we enter here, right? <laughs> there's what? There's only one other way to do this. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to do this fucking quest. I think it might specifically be for a character with high sneak. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Inventory. Good. And then, Stealth Boy Activate, Use, good. Oh no wait, it does have a duration, or a number of uses there. You see that on the right? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, cool. And then, we just chill out here until midnight. Oh fuck, that's not gonna run out the Stealth Boy, is it? Fuck me. <laughs> okay, okay, thank goodness. Alright. Go. Sneak mode activate. Ah! Oh! Okay, sorry, I'll be on my way. Oh, we can just vibe now. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm sneaking big time. Okay, so I can sneak around this way. Shit, if only there were another way into the house, but we have to go right by George. See, I thought it would push me out of here, just like when it does when we're inside of a place that we're not meant to be, and it teleports us out. Okay, I've quick saved. <laughs> we're going right by their fucking windows. Okay. Good. Somehow sneak faded. I don't know how or why. Oh, look. They're on patrol. 
Does the door open automatically? Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Is he coming in here? Oh, he's not. Oh my god, I'm the ultimate man! <laughs> okay. Good. I'm quick saving. Wait, what? Oh, I'm using steel. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I successfully unlocked it. Oh, it had a bomb inside! Jesus Christ, what kind of a maniac are you? Fuck. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh! You see necklace, an expensive looking necklace made from silver, gold, and pressed diamonds. Oh, hell yes. Okay. Quick saving again. Wait. I'm going to shut that. Okay. Stealth mode activate. We're going to wait for George to patrol again. And then we're going to run our ass around. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hell yes. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> you don't see shit, George. You don't see shit, George. <laughs> oh my god, what an amazing quest. <laughs> I love stealing stuff in games. I'm sorry. I love stealing stuff. It's so much fun to me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good. Thankfully, they didn't hear the massive grenade-like explosion in the other room. Okay. Let's see. I mean, you know what? Hey, in the post in the post-nuclear world of South Southern California, you don't know what that sound could have been. You know, maybe it was a grenade in the other room. That's just every Thursday night. All right. Hell yes, we have done it. Hell yes. All right. When next we come back, we're turning in this fucking super diamond encrusted necklace to whatever the fuck his name was. Hell yes. We fucking did it. We fucking nailed it. We got there at the end of the day. Mm, yes. Until next time, please take care of each other.